No, I thought it was a great, you know, great exhibition, great just environment for these guys to play against some other people. <clears throat> And, and, you know, obviously we had our scrimmage, um, but there's no one in the stands. And, and to get this game experience for these guys, really being a new team, I think was really critical. And we got, you know, to, to try some different things defensively because they're a really small team. So we switched a lot more than we normally will, um, which is good because it's going to we're going to need some of that in non-conference play where teams are a little bit smaller. And then we got everyone some minutes, which was which was key. So uh, just an overall you know, good good day for these guys. We still have a, a lot to work on, obviously, but you know, also saw a lot of really positive things from them. Um, and I liked how we shot the ball the, the second half. I thought we were in a better flow and, and not so stagnant. I thought we got in the second quarter. We, we were just jacking shots and, and not rhythm shots, and we weren't getting our paint touches. So once we started to do what we do and, and get our defense up a little bit, we got the shots in, in our transition that we really wanted, and a lot of those threes came from that. Adelia, um, you seem really comfortable tonight. I know it's a new system. Um, do you think it's a system that helped you flourish, or do you think it's just because you're a year older? Um, I think it's both, just maturing over time, but also I'm just surrounded by great coaches and a great team. And so, yeah. And for you, Genesis, real quick, um, how big was the basket for you tonight? Cause I, I mean, I've, it's been a long time since I've seen a kid shoot like that. I mean, what did that feel like for you tonight? It actually felt good. It felt good to kind of get my confidence going and just my teammates encouraging me and just being really supportive. I feel like that really helped me to not get down when I wasn't making shots. For both of you, really, for so many newcomers in the backcourt, it seems like there's really good chemistry. Has that, has that come from a, a lot of practice time or how did you develop that chemistry so early? Um, we develop our chemistry off the court a lot, and I think that just translated to the court and just practice time, extra work, working out together, just really pulled us together. Yeah, I would agree. Like we, <laughs> and the summer was very critical for us because we wasn't practicing on the court as much, so we had a lot of time to just just do anything, like going to the pool, the movies, just learning each other. Obviously, ooh, it's loud. Obviously, just an exhibition game. But how did it feel to just get on the court uh, in front of the fans at State Farm Center? It felt amazing. It just—it's been a really long time, so it was really exciting. And honestly, we all felt like it was a real game. Like that's how we approached it. Yeah, it was fun. I really enjoyed just the crowd energy too, and how they stay in it, even though you know, towards the end they was just high intensity. So we had a lot of crowd energy. Um, I think we understood sometimes, but it's definitely going to be discussed during film. We just got to be more locked in and be more uh, focused and have a lot of intensity on defense and not let up. Yeah, I would definitely agree. Just competing on every position. Like, even, like, sometimes on the offensive rebounds, we was kind of leaking out. So just make sure we got possession of the ball and then going. Thank you. Thank you. We, we've talked and you've said the thing you're going to do defensively, hold teams to low field goal percentage, and then, of course, rebound really well. You, you did a great job with the field goal percentage, 26.7%. Probably didn't rebound as well as, as you wanted. What, what, what will it take for these guys to kind of maybe get to that level that you had at Dayton? Yeah, I mean, I just told them in the locker room that we cannot rebound this team by only one, and they can't have 11 0 boards. Like, that's just unacceptable. So, um, I also think it's a little bit different because this team pretty much had all guards out there. So, a lot of their shots were, you know, long shots, and then they're long rebounds. And some of our guards are trying to crash instead of being disciplined to get those long box outs at the three point line. So, you know, we'll, we'll keep keep working it. We work it every day. I mean, it's a huge emphasis for us, so we'll keep on them. Um, and, and we forced them to miss a lot of shots, like you said, but we got to get those one and done so we're not continuing to have to play defense. Was the offensive pace what you wanted out of, out of this team when you talk about your Phoenix break and things like that? 
I thought it was at times. Um, I thought it looked good, and then at other times, I thought we got a little stagnant and stuff. And and that, but it also it all comes from our rebounding. When we get clean rebounds, we can run at it. And you saw that when we got clean rebounds, we were out. And we got a ton of stuff in transition. And I thought the second half we did a little bit better of that. But you know, they're still they're still learning. The you know they're still learning the intensity uh, uh, and the discipline of possession by possession. What you have to play with and. You know, like they're gonna, I don't, I told them I don't care if we're up 30, 40, or if we're down, whatever. Like it is my mindset is every single possession matters. And, you know, I, I don't like when people score on us. It makes, it makes me mad. So I want them to have that same mindset, uh, no matter what the score is. It's just possession by possession. Just continuing on that topic of pace at 28 points in the first quarter and then a little bit more of a grind the rest of the way. Was it, was that, a combination of lineups you're experimenting with or Quincy dig in a little bit defensively or no I think it was we started we started doing our our own thing instead of doing what we're supposed to do and uh, like we weren't running our offense we weren't running our Phoenix uh, we were just kind of we went kind of rogue and just starting to jack shots and and that's when you know we had to get back to what we do and you saw that uh, in, in the second half more, uh, we started running our stuff. I mean, we didn't get to the back end of any of our offense because we were just, you know, we were taking. And sometimes it's hard against a team that's given you a lot of shots. You want to take the first one. Um, but we once we got back to, to really being uh, intentional of getting paint touches, I thought everything opened up. Coach, you talked about earlier in the week how just eager these players were to get back on the court in live game action. How do you feel like what you've seen in practice was able to translate into real game situations tonight? I thought, you know, I thought it translated some things really well. And then we, again, like I'm never, we, we had to clean a lot of stuff up even defensively with our ball screen coverage. There was times the communication wasn't there. You know, this is kind of the same themes with this team that we see in practice at times showed up tonight. Uh, in, in the game and, and sometimes we like to get quiet and not talk so then our ball screen coverage we you know we have two people on different pages and and then the whole possession isn't isn't solid from there so just continuing to, to lock in on those details and, and really uh, try to just you know sharpen up a lot of the little things uh, you know in these next few days before Wednesday. How did it feel for you to finally get in State Farm Center and real game in front of this crowd? It's crazy because it seems like I was just there, you know, in the press conference, and it was, <laughs> even though it wasn't <laughs> just uh, yesterday, but it was, it was good. It was great to be out there. I was actually really impressed with, you know, I didn't know what to expect in terms of the crowd, and, and I thought it was a really good crowd, and hopefully we can continue to grow. And I said, you know, a lot of people I've heard in the past six months are like, State Farm Center's too big, and you can't get. I, I think that place can get loud. Don't tell me it can't get loud. If we can get, this is my goal, if we can get the lower bowl full, that was always at, at Dayton. We wanted to get our lower bowl full, and, and it, was a great, it could be a great atmosphere. So that's my, my you know, goal here and my vision is that we can get that lower bowl completely full, and, and that place gets loud. And I thought our fans did a really good job tonight of, of being into it. When there's some good plays, you felt it, and you felt the energy. So uh, we, can, we can get that place to, to be a really good atmosphere. We just need people to continue to come out. Coach, an instant offense from Genesis. Bryant off the bench, is, is that a role you see for her uh, continuing to go forward? Or? You know, that's, that's why I recruited her out of high school when I was at Dayton, because that's what she was capable of doing. Now, you, you know, she didn't get much playing time. So I think every, you know, the, the last six months, or she hasn't been here six months, I have, but she's been here, you know, three or four months. And since the moment she got here in the summer till now, she's a completely different player just from like getting that feel back and kind of her swag back and the confidence like she has it now. So I just think this game tonight was huge for her. It was huge for her because against in, in the scrimmage, she was a little timid and, and she was a little, I don't want to say nervous, but like she just ha didn't have that game like rhythm. And for her to go out there and, and shoot like she, she did tonight and, and drop 25, it's going to help us so much with, with her confidence. And like I told them, some of our best teams are the teams where we have four or five kids that, that all average 10 to 15 points. Like in our system, I've never had someone that averages 20 plus points. Like we're, we've always been a balanced attack where it's really hard. Like Makaira didn't have, she only scored, I think, four or six points tonight. You know, in our scrimmage, she had 28. 
So like now we have we have two other kids that score twenty some. Jayla didn't score in the scrimmage. She had eighteen. So if we can, you know, KB had ten. If we can continue to get five, six guys that are able to score at that level, we can. We're going to be really, really hard to to stop. No. Is she the kind of player you can run some plays for? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it's also nice because we can bump, you know, Makaira's going to play so many minutes, so we can bump her off the ball and put her to the, you know, to the to two guard when Jen comes in to run the point. And, and I give Genesis a lot of credit because she has been in the gym nonstop getting shots up. And, and when you do that, it's, it's not rocket science, right? If you get in the gym and you put the work in, you're going to see results. And she has worked her butt off in the gym getting those reps up. So she's been shooting at a high level in practice, and it was great to see her carry over to game time today. You, you had a couple girls not dressed tonight, and then Camille's wearing a mm -hmm. you know, pretty big brace. Are those injury things? that? Um, what are their status? Yeah, our two kids that weren't dressed, they'll, they'll be back soon. Um, and then Camille has had, she had off-season surgery, so that she's going to be in the brace all year um, from that. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.